Hi guys, Aaron here from Space Tech. Uh, today I'm just going to quickly show you um, four of our products on our website. Um, they are our recessed wall data socket, uh, which come in a round or square with optional backing plate. Our bulkhead uh, data socket, which makes up part of our recessed data mount. Uh, and our cable pass-through bung. So we'll start with the recessed data socket. Now these are machined out of a solid piece of plastic. Um, do apologise for uh, for the price being a little high and it's just due to do with the manufacturing method. Uh, if these become popular enough and we can injection mould them, um, that price uh, will hopefully come down. So I'll just quickly show you how they uh, how they come. So you'll get in your kit um, a bag with uh, your stainless steel screws and three sets of RJ45 plugs, the data, the uh, bulkhead data socket, and your recess plate, and possibly backing plate if that's what you've ordered. So just pull these apart into their pieces, hold on to the uh, O ring, very important. The dust cap comes off the back. Now, just a trick with these, they do tend to grip onto the uh, the tether. So you can just quite easily pop these tethers off and just remove the cap and put that in your pocket when you're, uh, or in your van when you're not using it. Um, take the uh, backing nut off, just, just, just like that. Now these are uh, quite tight to get through, um, but they definitely do go in. Uh, make sure that you've got the rubber O-ring, uh, backing O-ring, which forms part of this tether on the outside. So you're feeding from the outside in. Just like that. And now backing that onto the back. Do that up nice and tight. Uh, just a very strong finger tight should be enough, but if you're not confident, just a very light nip with uh, a shifter. All right, and that's that makes up that. Now, these are the same generation as our uh, cable joiner. Uh, so they're the same family, IP68 rated uh, joiner. So these parts are all interchangeable. So if you have cut your cable up uh, with an extension lead uh, to various lengths and what whatnot, uh, any part of that lead with this cover will fit directly onto this. So just make sure that you've got your O-ring on there. Uh, if you're not confident, make sure you pull that O-ring off when you're, you're traveling, but um, as long as you've got this dust cover on it when you're traveling, that O-ring won't come off, just like that. And then when you're using it, you would just uh, plug your cable in uh, with the dust, dust boot. Uh, again, making sure that the backing nut on these glands are loose when you're uh, plugging it in or removing it so that you don't twist the cable. Um, clip it in, screw it on, tighten it up, and away you go. Now, I'll quickly demonstrate the, uh, the optional backing plate with these. So when you've drilled your two inch hole, 51 mil hole uh, through your wall, uh, if it's under a seat or in a cupboard, uh, it probably doesn't matter that you uh, that you can see where the hole's been cut, but if it is uh, through uh, an internal wall uh, near your sink or somewhere that you can see it, um, we've got these optional dust covers, which are, are uh, adjustable to standard widths of caravan wall. Now, if it is thinner, what you can do is just cut this shorter uh, until you get to the desired thickness to match your wall. Now they just hold in, in place with a bit of silicon. When you apply these on the front, uh, if possible, uh, align the holes, the, the pins to be facing uh, up. So if that's the configuration of your three holes, you would put it like that. Or if you want your single hole at the top, you would put it like that. Same with the square plate, just align your pins to be up. Now the reason for that is, uh, if some moisture does get in here, uh, there's least, less chance of it actually contacting the pins. Uh, same with dirt and then any other debris that might get in that hole. So just uh, do a bit of maintenance on that. There's no reason it should get dirty if you're using the dust cap every time. Um, 
but if for some reason it does, just give it a good blowout and make sure it's clean. Uh, when applying it to the van, um, just a bit of silicon behind this before you screw it on, uh, and just a little trick, once you've screwed it up and the silicon spills out the sides, don't try and wipe it off straight away. Get some uh, cold soapy water in a spray bottle, spray it, and then uh, plenty of water, you can't have too much, obviously make sure you've got your cap on when you do that, and run your finger around the edge, and you'll find that you get a very clean finish with uh, not too much silicon smudge uh, at all. And finally, the last option is if you don't want to do any of these things, you don't want to cut your cable and you're happy just to feed it through every time, we do have this, this bung. Uh, it's got a little, these aren't obviously aren't uh, IP68 rated because you've got a big hole. Uh, they are uh, weather resistant. Uh, they've got a little veranda on one side of them, uh, which will stop any direct rain uh, getting in. Uh, alternatively, you could put that in the floor of your van and come up through the floor. Um, and it's got this bung that screws onto the back. Uh, so when you're traveling, uh, it is IP68 waterproof and nothing's going to get in. So um, once again, you just screw it off the back and then there's plenty of room in that to pass your Starlink cable through and connect it to your router. All right, guys, that's those three products. Thanks for watching.